Hello everyone, in this video we will see about design of summit and valley curves. We will also solve one problem towards the end. First let us see about summit curve. So what is a summit curve? Summit curve is nothing but a climbing curve like this. So when an ascending curve meets a descending curve like this, you have a summit curve. So what is summit curve designed for? It is designed for side distance. So when you are traveling up the road like this, so you expect that proper side distance is available. So for proper side distance to be available, ideal curve is circular, summit curve is ideal because side distance is available throughout the curve. Here transition curve is not required. Transition curve is not required. First of all when you provide a transition curve it will be of varying radius. So if radius is varying side distance also will keep varying. Side distance will not be constant throughout. So a circular summit curve without transition is like it is the best possible ideal case for a summit curve. Like in circular curves, arithmetic manipulation are not easy. So what you do is you go for a simple parabola. Simple parabola is almost equal to providing a circular summit curve and arithmetic manipulations are very easy in a simple parabola. Now let us see for a equation for a simple parabola will be y equal to ax square. Now let us see how to design the summit curve that is length of the summit curve. Let us assume that this gradient is n1 ascending gradient and you have a descending gradient of n2. So the deviation angle n equal to n1 plus n2. So here deviation angle is n1 plus n2 and if in, it is given in degrees you calculate this in radians and you also have the formula y equal to ax square which is the formula of the simple parabola where a equal to n by 2l. So with this equation you try to design this summit curve you have y n h. So if you go along you should follow this formula. So as you know you design the summit curve for side distance. Now let us see for stopping side distance how to design. So if L greater than SSD that is this length of the summit curve if it is greater than the stopping side distance. Stopping side distance you should calculate with the formula Vt equal plus V squared by Gf plus or minus n by 100. So if L greater than SSD you have L equal to n s squared divided by root of 2h is 2h the whole square where you have h equal to height of I level of driver above the road surface and H is the minimum height of object which you have to see. Suppose you have a small object of even like 0.15 meter you should be able to see the obstruction height. So usually I, by IRC standard height of I level is 1.2 meter and this is 0 0.15 meter. So you have N S squared by 4.4. If L less than SSD, you have the formula L equal to 2S minus root of 2H plus root of 2 small h the whole square divided by N which is equal to 2S minus 4.4 divided by N. This is designing for stopping side distance. For overtaking side distance or intermediate side distance which is usually 2 into SSD you have the formula when L greater than 
OSD or ISD you have. Here S is side distance. I hope you know that. So this will be L equal to N S squared by 9.6. Here H is also 1.2 meter and small h that is the height of the object also you take it as 1.2 meter. Then you will get N S squared by 9.6. If L less than this then you have L equal to 2s minus 9.6 by n. Now let us see about valley curve. What is valley curve designed for? So valley curve will be like this. So when you are traveling here there is no problem of side distance in daylight. But in night there is problem of side distance. So it is designed for headlight side distance and it is also designed for comfort like when you are traveling down the curve there will be centrifugal force which is acting due to the down curve and it also adds to the vehicle so there will be impact on the vehicle for a impact free movement you design so for a impact free movement the major thing is You should provide a transition curve so that so that this downward centrifugal force is introduced gradually. For a transition curve to be provided, the best suited is cubic parabola. So for first design, you have the length of valley curve as V cube by CR. For a cubic parabola, R equal to L by N. So for substituting R equal to L by N, you have length of the valley curve as 2 into It is also designed for the headlight side distance. So uh, assuming if the car is here and this is your length, so this will be your side distance and the beam will be at an angle, let us say alpha, let us denote this as H1 and this is S tan alpha, H1 is nothing but the height above the height of the headlight above the surface of the road which is usually 0 0.75 meter and alpha is the beam angle which is usually 1 degree. So you know H1 plus S tan alpha that is Y. H1 plus S tan alpha which is Y you know it is equal to A h squared. A is N by 2 L. So you have N H is S s square divided by 2l. So from this you can take out the length of the valley curve. So l equal to n s square divided by 2 h1 plus 2 s tan alpha. Substituting for alpha as 1 degree and h1 0.75 meter you have it is equal to n s square divided by 1.5 plus 0 0.0 This is for L greater than the side distance. Suppose if L is less than the side distance, you have this is L and side distance is long S, then you have L equal to 2S minus 2 into H1 plus S tan alpha divided by L. Substituting for alpha and h1, we have 2s minus 1.5 plus 0 0.035s divided by n. 